Hello, this is Barry Pruitt with Aero News Network here at AirVenture 2023, and I'm here uh, with the Air Command Integrity, and they have some new uh, features uh, that they're working on and uh, bringing some new options to the uh, Air Command lineup that uh, I'll have uh, Joe here tell us a little bit about that. Barry, thank you very much for being with us and stopping at our booth. I'm Joe Cavelli, owner and president of Air Command, and it's nice to chat with you today. So this is our Integrity model. Integrity is our aircraft for single seat. We've been working on this for four to five years, and I purchased Air Command seven years ago. Air Command will celebrate 40 years next year. The oldest gyroplane manufacturer in the United States. This is a great honor for us because we're also introducing not only our new model, but we're also introducing the Polaris conversion engine for aircraft use. The Polaris engine that you see behind us is an 85 horsepower model. There's a real need for engines in that 60 to 100 horsepower range. So we thought that was a sweet spot. Let's start with this. So it's been on the test stand for us. It's a bulletproof engine, as we know from Polaris. It's been out there a while. This has the perfect application for aviation. Our part in this was engineering an adapter that was able to take the energy, the, the power from this engine and put it at the end of the prop. Also included in there is our adapter as well as a Rotex E-Box redrive. So the E-Drive uh, just uh, adjusts the RPM to, to the prop to make it a more efficient propeller efficiency, correct? That's correct, yes. We stayed with the number around 2300 was our target for that. And on the um, integrity that we have behind us, the gyroplane we have behind us is a warp drive propeller, 68 inches. What kind of performance are you hoping to get out of this, like fuel burn, things like that? I know you have about a 10-gallon uh, fuel tank on board, and I know that the efficiency is a little better than we're even used to. Yes, it is. You know, one thing that my engineer and I found really surprising is the fuel burn was really, really low. In our testing, we would run the engine for 45 minutes at a certain RPM. I'll just pick a number, 4,000. We'd then throttle back for 15 minutes at 1,200. Then we would bring it back up to five, 6,000 and run it for another 45 minutes. But what we realized, we were getting a burn of one gallon to one and a half gallons per hour. So we're really interested to find out what it's going to be like when we actually fly this aircraft. We don't have any fiberglass parts attached uh, behind us. We're still working on things to get it flight ready, but our goal is to start flying in two months. What do you think, timeline-wise, are you looking at for maybe rolling out kits or anything like that? Have you looked at any of that? We have. Those are discussions we've started to have. We'd like to have something available, of course, next year as soon as possible, but we want to do it right. And so uh, first thing is to make sure this is flyable and get the statistics and specifications. But ideally, we'd like to do it next year. It's our 40th anniversary, so it's a big year for us. And you know, the other interesting thing is it's not only the airframe and the engine, but it's also the rotor blades. We brought back on the market Skywheel rotor blades. They hadn't been made for 18 years, and so we'll be making those again soon. We're bringing the package back. Skywheels and air commands, so.